You know I love a delicious stuffed bell pepper. We've done them on the channel, but now you can save even more time and just make it into a deconstructed soup. And it is so fast and easy to throw together and super healthy. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. You know I'm all about helping you achieve great health and the key to great health for just about everyone on the planet is eating healthy food. Plant-based food without all the added salt, oil, and sugar, and junk. If I can just make getting that food into your body really, really easy, then I think you'll be able to maintain your health without much effort. I have a stuffed bell pepper recipe that's already really easy. This just makes it 10 times easier. I don't even know how I'm gonna make this a full video. Okay y'all, the first step of this one is an easy one. You know a stuffed bell pepper has got starches in there, right? I or rice or lentils or quinoa. Pick out a couple of your favorite starches and we need two cups of the cooked starch each for this soup. So I'm gonna take two cups of cooked lentils and two cups of brown rice for this one. In case you don't already know, let me tell you how I like to make lentils and rice and other starches. I cook them all like pasta. All you gotta do is boil an oversized pot of water and then dump in as much lentils as you want. You know, don't overdo it because then you'll run out of water. But then you just let them simmer in the boiling water for about 15 to 18 minutes, depending on how much you like them done. Drain out the water over the sink and boom, you're done. You've got lentils enough for all week and you can enjoy quick, easy meals thanks to that. For the rice, same idea. The next step is we gotta prepare some veggies and then optionally saute them. So I'm gonna get right to it. I've got one yellow onion I'm gonna chop up. I like chopping up fresh onion and bell pepper because it, those are pretty much ingredients I put in like every one of my meals. And even the saute step in this recipe recipe isn't really necessary if you're not that picky. I'm gonna do the simmer step just because I think it's most normal, if you will. I'm doing a green and a red. You can do any two bell peppers, it doesn't matter. Both green, other colors, orange, yellow, whatever. If you really wanna save time, check it out. You can buy frozen, chopped bell peppers in the bag. You can also do it with the onion, and then you could save even more time on this recipe. How easy is that? Okay, y'all, we got the stove on. I haven't added any liquid to this. You know that I'm all about dry sauteing because I don't think eating oil in your diet is good. It clogs your arteries and it's not healthy. So when I'm sauteing, I'll either add a little bit of water out of my kettle, or I'll throw in a little bit of veggie stock. Today I'm using veggie stock, but you can use water if you want, no big deal. And I've got a pretty high heat and we'll just get everything nice and soft and sauteed and we'll be ready to add everything else in. It only takes a few minutes. Here we go with some spices. This is so simple. There are only a few items we're throwing in. There's some Italian seasoning. We've got some nutritional yeast. I love the tanginess from the nutritional yeast. And then some garlic. You can use minced garlic. I'm using garlic powder right here. And then for me, I gotta have it a little spicy. So I throw in a teaspoon or two of crushed red pepper, but that's optional. And then we'll throw in a little more juice so that everything can mix together. Give it another stir and we'll let some of these spices start to cook. And then once some of this juice evaporates a little bit, we'll know that we're ready to put the rest of this baby together. Oh, it smells so good already. Mm -mm -mm. Imagine switching the Italian seasoning with like a curry blend or our Fiesta Fire blend is really good, which is just a mix of Mexican herbs and spices. So you could take this and turn it from Italian any direction that you want. For another hack, let's talk about the Instant Pot. Same thing, you can just throw everything into the Instant Pot, whether you're using fresh veggies or frozen veggies, does not matter, and turn it on for three to five minutes and you're done. Obviously you'd wanna use cooked rice and lentils for the Instant Pot too, if you're only gonna do three to five minutes. It's pretty simple. Okay, it's starting to dry out, you can hear it, so let's throw in two cans of tomato sauce. These are just the 14 ounce cans, and one can of diced tomatoes, juice and all. And now we're gonna do our starches. So we got our cooked lentils. I'm just gonna measure off a cup, I'm surprised two cups. you're even measuring, Dill. I know, right? but you could probably eyeball it pretty easy. Two cups of rice, that was a little more, whatever. And then boom, let's just stir it all together and we've got a stew. We can let this simmer for a few minutes just to cook everything together. And now I would just take your veggie stock or your water and use it to adjust how thick you want this to be. And remember, click down below in the description box of this video. Reeves has a link there with the blog post that's got the full recipe, everything. What is this thing missing that so many people like to include in their meals? Greens. So if you wanna get some greens in here, you could either right now throw in a couple handfuls of fresh chopped kale or spinach in there and boom, give it a few stirs and let it simmer and it'll wilt down and be a great way to get those greens. You gotta use this as one of your base recipes during the week if your goal is to just eat really clean, easy meals. Oh, that looks good, let's test. Mmm, that was hot. It's like eating a stuffed, juicy stuffed bell pepper. You're getting all the same flavors, all the starchiness, it's great. Mm. 
No boy. You can make eating so easy when you do it so simple. Click right here for more super simple recipes that will keep making a healthy diet and lifestyle very, very easy to adhere to. Thank you so much for watching this video. The recipe is down below. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.